Hello, I'm Dennis Dowling. I'm the director of the iForm Centre. You may go back to March of this year. Frontline staff were crying out for protective equipment. And we could see from Italy and Spain that those involved in the area of additive manufacturing or 3D printing were stepping in, designing devices, and we did the same. We helped to evaluate a range of visors and uh, also fittings for uh, ventilators and other protective equipment for frontline staff. And the initial stages of that was in conjunction with a nurse in Tala Hospital who approached us and said we have a real problem and they described what they needed. And we have a group of eight people who volunteered and many of my colleagues came in when the whole place was locked down to, to work on printing of say visors for example. And over that period we printed over 5,000 visors. We went into our lab which is usually used for prototyping we're more used to making one or two parts a day for research or training purposes. And we were able to retrofit our 10 to 15 printers into a sort of manufacturing line. We started off by uh, using designs that we found from the community um, that had been heavily used in Italy and Spain. We were able to take some of those designs, trial them, use different materials, change the printer settings and try and optimize the designs. Finally, we decided on a simple design Keep it simple means that the manufacturing time is, is lower. We were starting off with about an 80 minute print time per mask for a very complicated heavy mask. And we ended up with less than 20 minutes to print one mask, which was simpler and easier to assemble in the hospital. So the staff didn't have to worry about fumbling around with difficult designs. So in addition to the visors, we also ended up designing and sending out to hospitals some ventilator and respirator components. In particular, uh, one hospital looking for elbow joints for a respirator mask that supplies oxygen to a patient. Uh, they were running out as it's a consumable item that has to be disposed of after every single patient. We were able to take an old uh, disinfected elbow joint, reverse engineer it, design it in CAD, 3D print it in our lab, and send it out to the hospital in a matter of days. I think iForm had printed about 800 visors for frontline staff at St. Vincent's University Hospital. So this had a massive impact for fighting coronavirus. There was review from procurement and infection control um, with the use of the visors and they were brilliant. There was replaceable acetate, they were easy to use. There was good ventilation and protection with them and they could be easily used and assembled. 